Hi friends, Arthur Wellipot here. Now, we're uh, securing a Defence Intelligence Agency cache uh, for the railroad. Uh, this is important to do because it unlocks Ballistic Weave, and Ballistic Weave is my entire reason for existence right now. Uh, now, this particular DIA cache happens to be at Hub360, and our Hub360 is a bit of a special one. Uh, we're going to walk there. Uh, we've got a little way to go through uh, uh, Boston to get there, uh, so it's going to be a fun trip. So let's go. There we go. Okay, that's those ghouls taken care of. I hope I can get all the way to Hub 360 within 15 minutes. Uh, as I mentioned before, 15 minutes is the longest my PS4 will record. We're well downtown in Boston at the moment. Um, this is this is Faneuil. Now I've already basically done Faneuil Hall, or the outside of it at any rate. a lot of stuff going on here uh, but we're just going to run through all of it because I'm not interested in any part of oh, oh. this is definitely in our way let's take care of that okay Gunners. Remember how I said that um, I'm not encountering many enemies with energy weapons yet? Uh, that was before I started hitting uh, places like this. Now, gunners can be pretty tough. Uh, fortunately, I have a gun that can take care of them. I'm sort of at the mid-level at the moment. Um, I'm not as capable as I might be, but I can basically take on most average bad guys. Uh, okay, so Hub360 um, is like a uh, super mutant warren and there's a few uh, around the outside around the outside around the outside but um, the thing about hub 360 the, the reason it's a little bit special and why I wanted to uh, do a special thing on it is to get the DIA cache you don't actually go in the front door you can't get to the DIA cache through the front door instead you have to go up this stairwell out here. I believe it's known as a fire escape. Uh, you come through here and jump up on here and you can get over. There's actually a way over. That means you don't actually have to jump a gap um, and in this door here this is where we want to go now there aren't any enemies 
in this section. Uh, so there's uh, the rest of Hub 360 is full of super mutants, but in this section uh, we just open up the cache, grab what we need, which isn't a lot. The rest we can leave. Basically, just take what um, what I've got tagged or what I can sell, and Pam will do the rest. Um, if you want to get here via the rest of Hub 360, you can jetpack up this lift shaft because uh, that goes down into the into the main uh, area of Hub 360. But we don't need to do that. It's not at all necessary. We're just going to go out here um, and return to Pam at the railroad, uh, and that will pack up our DIA quest, which should unlock our ballistic weave with Tinker Tom and if we can get that going uh, a few uh, perks invested in the armorer um, perk I guess uh, and we can get what is literally the best armor in the game uh, you fully upgrade your ballistic weave and you can wear your red dress you can wear your tuxedo uh, whatever uh, you can wear your dirty rags um, and it will be more armor than a fully tricked out set of combat armor. It will be more protective than any other armor that isn't power armor. Uh, we're just going to head back to Pam now who is over on the left hand oh, side. Hey, Dark hey, Grummer Boy. Yeah? Randolph's safe house has been MIA since Switchboard but now we got one of their dead drops tagged. Yeah, okay. Des wants want you to check it out. Okay. I hope this means Randolph is safe after all. It'd be nice to get some good news for a change. Once you take care of the dead drop, report him to Dez. I'm definitely going to do that one um, and post it because it's a great dungeon um, and I have a lot of fun with it. Pam, I took care of the DIA cache. Reward dispensed. You. Now let's talk to Tinker Tom. See if we've unlocked Ballistic Weave yet. Tom and his boys are still unloading all the toys you found from the DIA. Nice. Yep. Uh, where is Tom? There you are. DIA. Yes. Yeah, man. The cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is Ballistic Polymer Weave. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothes. I got some in stock now, but oh, give me some time. I got all sorts of ideas. Let's take a look. Okay, here's what I got. Let's see. Armored bathrobe, black vest and slacks, child of Adam long rags, farm hand clothes, greaser jacket and jeans, green shirt and combat boot, but I have to take the red dress. I do just have to. Uh... Meanwhile, Tom can have uh, far too many Molotov cocktails, the covert sweater vest, uh, and I'm just going to get rid of all of this food because I'm not at the point now where I need it. There we go. A little bit of junk, but that's fine. He's going to give me money. Let's put on the armored red dress. Sexy lady. And just at its baseline, that gives me 30 points of ballistic and energy damage, uh, damage resistance. 30 points at baseline. My Mutant Slayer's Painted Metal chest piece is 16 Ballistic and 9 Energy. Ah, uh, yes? Please. Um, so, that's getting the um, DIA cache in Hub360 uh, and getting my Ballistic Weave Armoured Red Dress. So, enjoy playing Fallout 4 and we will see you later.
Bye, friends.